Today we're putting a, putting a wheel bearing here into our uh, drive wheel here on the semi. Get that in there just a little bit. Get it started. Can you uh, roll your lock nut on? Do that again? I got it. There you go. First, you need to seat the bearing. So you need to crank it down to, to 200 foot pounds. special socket might be the biggest one in the world but go ahead and slap this on here and you want to do this while the wheel is spinning that way you that way you know the bearing is set correctly and the wheel doesn't lock up Click there, I know it's at 200 foot pounds. Now, the procedure for this me cranking it down that much, tighten or uh, sat the wheel bearing in as far as it needs to go. As I can see right now, the wheel's tight, so that's obviously not going to work that way. So, you have to back it off. One full turn. Okay. Now I have to retorque it down to 50 foot pounds. Bear with me for one moment. Crank it down to 50 foot pounds with the wheel spinning. Got my, got my, my noise, let me know that it's now at 50. Now, obviously, still a little snug. The object of the lock nut is not to hold the bearing in is to keep the bearing from sliding out. So now you want to back it off quarter turn. Right about there. Now as you can see, it's loose. That's what you want to see. Next. You have your washer. There's a groove right here that this slides into, and a nub that's on the uh, that's on the lock washer or lock nut. Excuse me. See, goes together just like so. And then you take this washer, slide it over like so. Normally, 
when you put your uh, jam nut on, you would bend this down over the jam nut to prevent that from moving in or out. Uh, this is a demo that we have here at school, so I'm not going to bend these down just so that the next person doesn't have to take it apart because this gets taken apart quite often. Then you slide on your jam nut. As you can see, these gloves are worth millions. Take the torque wrench. Now you're supposed to crank it down to 300 foot pounds. Like I said, this is a school demo setup. So we only crank it down to 100 so that it's not that big of a pain for the next student to get off. So I'm gonna go ahead and crank it down to 100. As you can see, that, that's how you install a wheel bearing. That's how you seat it correctly. And uh, thank you for watching.